This is the One Way ANOVA video on comparisons and contrasts. The analytical portion of a One Way ANOVA begins with an F test of whether any of the group means differ. This F test is statistically significant. The next step is to determine how they differ. In practice, this usually involves making pairwise comparisons. Occasionally, this involves comparing more than two groups at once. Such comparisons are called contrasts. For example, let's suppose that the design includes four interventions, two from one class of drugs and two from another class, as illustrated on the slide. There are six possible pairwise comparisons, as illustrated on the slide. Four of these comparisons are intuitive, comparing likes with likes, whereas the last two ones on the list are less so. To give you a flavor of how contrasts work, suppose that you want to compare the two drug classes. The most natural way to do so is to take the mean of the outcomes from the first drug class and compare it to the mean of the outcomes from the second drug class. The slide illustrates the formula. At the end of the day, it generates a plus 0.5, plus 0.5, minus 0.5, minus 0.5, which is the information that you transmit to your statistical software in order to actually implement the contrast. We, we, don't, we won't require you to, to do this uh, in our course. In order to perform this contrast, one might reasonably ask, well, why not just collapse the data into two groups and perform a t-test that compares drug class 1 with drug class 2? turns out that there are problems with both the signal and the noise of that test. One of the class assignments will illustrate those problems. Returning to the comparisons between pairs of group means, what you should report is the two group means, the difference between them, the p-value for the comparison, whether this p-value is statistically significant after any adjustment for multiple comparisons, a confidence interval for the difference between the two group means, and an assessment for the clinical significance of the results. In other words, you should report essentially the same thing as for a t-test. The topic of adjustment, adjustment for multiple comparisons is covered in another video.